أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم إنما التوبة على الله للذين يعملون السوء بجهالة بجهالة فأولئك يتوب الله عليهم وكان الله عليما حكيما السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته Today I want to share with you something about turning back to Allah and Allah turning back to you Just some lessons from it you and I can, I can take it in the heart and change ourselves in light of them. Turning back to Allah or really turning back to Allah is only takes place when the following happens. In other words, uh, in Arabic, the word inama that suggests exclusivity. So when you think of repentance to Allah, so you can think about it in the following terms. That's the benefit of the word inama in the beginning of the ayah. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says that inama tawbatu ala Allah Certainly repentance. Allah is mandating it on himself to accept our repentance if it meets the following conditions. Absolutely he will accept it. After that he says لِلَّذِينَ يَعْمَلُونَ السُّوءَ بِجَهَالَةٍ It is acceptable for those who did something uh, very evil or ugly or disgusting or despicable. Uh, this is all within this range. The word, the meaning of the word of this soul. Then jahala, bijahala, bijahala out of overwhelming temptation, emotions or temptations or anger, you know, or some depressions, some emotions took them and they got overwhelmed and they act up in that sense, they did the sin, they did the act, that's jahala. Perhaps uh, laziness is a kind of jahala, you know, when you fail to wake up on the fajr, or your anger is maybe your anger is also a form of jahalla. When you raise your voice, your father, these all are expressions of jahalla. Then Allah says, uh, if uh, who did something uh, very ugly or disgusting or despicable, when the emotions rose, then Allah says, thumma yatubuna min qareeb. Then right after. Right after they go and turn back to Allah immediately. If uh, we commit any sin, we commit uh, any sin and we feel uh, dirty, we feel uh, despicable or feel d disgusting or we feel angry at ourselves, I say, hopelessly, uh, whatever man, I already, must, I already messed up. What's the point of Toba right now? Let me just, I mean, no, please to be talking to Allah right now. It's too embarrassing. Allah says that that's not Toba, that's not real Toba. And the real Toba is when you make decisions that I'm not going to violate Allah's commands or Allah's rules consciously or you know um or in openly or lifestyle choices. So that doesn't mean you're an angel. You are on a gonna make mistakes every once in a while. So when you make mistakes, first of all most we want to catch yourself from that and turn back to Allah immediately. First and foremost, we want to catch yourself and then go turn back to Allah immediately. Then Allah says that, فَأُولَٰئِكَ يَتُوبُ اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِمْ فَأُولَٰئِكَ يَتُوبُ اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِمْ For those, Allah will turn towards them. Allah will turn towards them. So this tawbah is acceptance to Allah. So this is an important not for you and me. And in the last of this ayah, Allah says that وَكَانَ اللَّهُ عَلِيمًا حَكِيمًا And Allah is fully knowledgeable and fully wise. And He knows that your, whether your tawbah is worthy of acceptance or not. 
Okay, then I pray that Ya Allah gives us the gift of Tawbah and accepts all of our Tawbahs in this blessed month of Ramadan. Barakallahu feekum. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.